Hello guys and gals and welcome back to Subnautica. I've replaced all the lockers with that new mod that's being tested and it's working great so far. I love how the name name comes out and how many of each pieces that you have. So I need some rubies. I need some yeah, uranium and I need some ion cubes. But I need need some silver, need some gold. I need a lot of lead. I need a little bit more lithium, a little bit more magnetite. But you can see how much I got down below, 65, uh, 61 and 65. And what I did is I took the prawn suit. I found the drill arm and the grappling hook off camera, unfortunately. I apologize for that. I just want to get filled up here and... This all filled up. Yeah, that's full. Yeah, oh, I had one. And we'll just put the rest into the sorting machine. And we're going to fill up with the rest with titanium. And we are going to check out the Jelly Shroom Cave because I saw a base down there we need to explore, which I did not do. And, um... I wanted to do that. Plus, I got everything I need to build a second base. I put a beacon down where I want to build the base when I was down there. So we'll go ahead and go down to the jelly, the jelly shroom cave. And that's just right over here. And there we are. And as we go down. You see, that's the base I want to check out. But that's... Base 2 is where I dropped these... Oh, hang on a second, I need to get rid of some of these stuff. Oh, wrong one. That one. Alright, we can drop that for right now. Base two, we need to keep. Wreckage, we don't need right now. Base to check out. Where's the lithium one? I see lithium. Where? Oh, there it is. So if we just go to the opposite side of the area. And the reason why I want to build a base down here is so I can, um, there's still some more, um, whatchamacallit. I need to be on the other side of this. Alright, where did that beacon go? Phase two. That's a base to check. Is 
that thing get moved around? Oh, there it is. There we go. Hang on one second. My eyes itching. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here. Open the habitat builder. There. Need some reinforcement. Got the lubricant. Uh, silly me. Silly, silly me. I have to go back and get some lubricant, but we can build the rest of the base here. Uh, I think I have enough. Uh, no, wait. Hatch. There's the hatch. And... Oh, I need to go get some gold. I didn't bring everything I was supposed to bring. I don't need that. Okay. Oh, well, we got the majority Welcome of the, the stuff. I need over here. And over here. Need some of that, so I need gold. I'm just gonna put two lockers right here. Uh, indoor grow bed. Seven. I don't. I just need one of those. And I can expand this base if I want to, but it's just going to be a simple base. I just need to get some lubricant and some gold. Welcome aboard, Captain. But while we're down here, 
I just need to get some lubricant to finish that up and pop and get some gold and get everything up and running. Here we go. That's the way. Base check. That's where we need to go. <coughs> and I'm going to change that to cave entrance. Way out. I'm just going to name it way out. So when I'm down here, I know which way to go. Aha, uh -huh, you missed me. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. So that way I know which way to go out. What do we got here? That's some lithium. Ah! Got this. These conniving, corporate, bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks. Not a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Okay, what do you think Marguerite? Do, do you think Marguerite likes these people? Or or does she have an opinion of them? What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Okay, so far we found a fabricator. A modification station, not fabricated. Modification station. Now the PDA. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Okie dokie. He really doesn't like it. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. Acquired. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Integrating on the new island, PDA data. I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Especially the part Integrate a new PDA data. Learned the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, uh. well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. New PDA data. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms seconds. they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. 
Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. I thought it might get claustrophobic. Hey. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But my father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. I think he has a crush on Marguerite. What do y'all think? Let me know down below in the comments. Next log. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Okie dokie, I think we've heard that one. But we'll listen to it. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stops on any level. Okie dokie. So we have to find the next sea base. But while we're doing this, we're gonna go finish making the base and setting that up. Oh, oh, I forgot the seeds. Ah, wait, wait a minute. I forgot the seeds. So we have something to eat down there to replenish our water and our health. Not health, but our, um, actually, I, yeah, I should make a first aid kit. But, replenish our food and water intake okay oh, wrong way this way I need to put signs up actually let's do this real quick Seeds. 
beasts. I have more than two. Okay. Jelly shrooms. Do I have jelly shrooms? I don't think I got jelly shrooms. Uh, I need to go outside. Yes, I do. I do have jelly shrimps. And I also got a mod to where these guys don't hurt me. As long as they're planted in... in here. They will attack anything that comes at me. Okay, we got jelly shroom seeds. I don't need it. I thought I did. Evidently, I did it when I forgot about it. So... Uh, yeah, we can get rid of this. Let's go back. Finish up the base. And not fall in. I hate getting in to the sea moth when I'm wet. All so systems online. So I'm gonna meet you back at the base. Uh, meet you back at the second base. Okay, guys, we are back at the second base, and we need to finish this up. Okay. And we should be able to park the sea moth here now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. And start planning this and when I come back I can go ahead and populate it more uh, seven Put a radio here and I'll, I'll eventually put a radio and a um, med kit uh, station We'll get that done. We got this. We got some lockers. Let's do. Uh, we can get four lockers. That should be good enough. And if I want to, I can put a color station here. Oh, we're not going to worry about that right now. But we got base 2 set up. We got some food growing, right? Yeah, we got food growing. We got a place to charge. I might add what I'm thinking about doing is this adding a second um, bay and this make a second uh, prawn suit and just keep, keep the prawn suit here. But we got electricity. All systems online. Everything looks like it's going good. So I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna. S oh. Anything in here? Ah, uh, just decoration. So I'm going to search around a little bit for some more, um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like this. There we go. So, that way I can find it a lot easier. So I'll meet you... Um, if I survive, I'll meet you back at the base.
Okay, guys and gals, I emptied everything out. And we need to go check out... <coughs> Welcome aboard Captain. All systems online. The proposed site that they had from our last communication, so we're just going to follow. We can go down to 900 meters. We do have a uh, shock on, so we can shock things away. And we'll just go straight down. Can check below as we go along. Oh, looks like something here. Ah, wreckage. 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 Nothing in there. We have some wreckage. See what we got down here. Okay. Something we already have. Drill arms. M more moon pool pieces. I'm gonna swim along the base and see what we can find. Another drill arm, so you looking for the drill arms for the front suit, we got it. I got this. Okay, nothing in there. And some other fragments. Okay, let's see if we can find a way in. Oh what? Uh, a little thermal vent. We get in. Yes, we do. So where's? Let's bring the sea moth down here. So we can have more oxygen, and as soon as we get out of the. Like an entrance way here. What I'm going to do is just empty all the stuff we collected so far and just put it in here for right now. That way we have maximum amount of room. More drill arms. Can't take any of that out. Okay, that's the way we... So... That's the one I'm looking for. Where's the door? There's the door. Check this wreckage out. Grappling hook. So we came here first. Okay, another door to. No. Oh. 
Okay, another door to break into. Always carry your um, laser cutter, your torch, because you never know when you come across wreckage and you're going to need them. And always carry a couple extra batteries. You never know when you run out of power. Okay, another data box. Something we already have. Anything else? Two. That goes. Oh, oh, there we go. Drill arm bit for the prompt suit. Integrating new PDA data. You can read that. If I was gonna read it. Let's see anything else. There's the vent. Thirty seconds. Uh, oxygen. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, that's the way we came up. I may just die right here. Should land in the sea moss. Or I could be wrong. Of course I'm wrong. So let's get to the sea moss. Of course I died. I got lost. You can always make a pathfinder tool and drop drop little balls so you can know where you've been and where you haven't been and how to get in and out of caves and wreckage and stuff like that. But only sissy use sissies use those and I'm not a sissy. I don't know what I am. <laughs> I'm the stupid because I don't I don't have one, that's what I am. <laughs> But, um, okay, we'll full up with oxygen. Yeah, that's where I died. Oh, I was that close. I was that close. Okay. Another data box. Docking bay repair module. Okay. Uh-oh, come on. Always use food. See anything else? So that's everything. Okay, we made it out. I should have made it out. I just got lost. I went the wrong way. So we spent enough time on this video so what I'm going to do is in the next episode we're going to check out that base 
And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along and when I go live here on YouTube. Also do me a favor, hit that like button. Every like I get gets this channel seen a little bit more, which helps grow this channel and I would really appreciate that. And if you have a comment, suggestion, or you just want to leave an emoji, leave it down below in the comment section. As always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.